So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Glenn from Avantech, and I'll be the moderator for this webinar. I'll start with saying a warm welcome and thank you for attending. Please remember to mute your mic throughout the webinar and you have, as you have the opportunity to ask us any questions at the end of this webinar. As nations are gradually opening their borders and reducing restrictions from the pandemic, food falls are near pre-COVID levels as retailers return to the shopping malls. This brings forth opportunities and challenges as retailers start to expand rapidly to welcome back the returning shoppers and at the same time, coping with the manpower crunch. This afternoon, we are very honored and privileged to have our value partners from Intel, Sandbox, and our very own Avantecker to share with us the current trends and technologies and how we can enhance and elevate the customer's experience using self-service technologies. Let us welcome Mr. David Day from Intel, who will share with us how the intelligent display experience is shaping the digital signage industry. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here. I'm glad to be here to share with you what's going on in the display industry to excite you further opportunities that you can consider when the world is moving into the endemic phase. As we all know, we have been using the term digital signage for at least 30 years now. I'd like to introduce to you our positioning of digital signage as intelligent display experience, preparing ourselves now for the future. Let's take a look at this video. The world is filled with easily accessible visual communication. People are comfortably experiencing it, growing up in it, assimilated it into their daily lifestyles naturally since young without realizing its evolution. Introducing intelligent display experience, it is on now for everyone to experience it. The new experience is built with smart digital screens, creating endless in-depth visualization opportunity, connecting the gap between just displayed content to audience behaviors, attributing the effect of in-store advertising and marketing investment with greater precision. Brands and service providers deliver messages dynamically, manages content seamlessly and securely with 8K resolutions, effortlessly scaling to any screen at any sizes, from convenience store to shopping malls, from buildings to smart cities globally. Intelligent display shapes the interactive experience by engaging and enriching the lives of future generations. With the continuous development of digital connections between cities and citizens, intelligent display experience is evolving. Be a part of this movement. As the world economy recovers, industry like retail, hospitality, restaurant, and the other consumer industries are embracing and competing to capture the customer attention and loyalty quickly back to the store, providing a greater store experience with digital applications, with new um, online to offline or in other words, omni-channel purchases. Hence, the growth of digital signage continues. The market in which display applications are impactful most with processes being used such as um, Intel are in the technologies such as the LCD, LED projection, and e-paper to dis display digital images, video, web pages, text, etc. Digital signage globally as a mature market segment stays almost about $20 million CAGR for now until 2026 with edge computing, uh, kiosks and large panel taking up nearly 50% of 2021 serviceable market with the highest um, silicon consumptions today and in the future will be nearly 70%.
We learned that top three applications with more than 30% CAGR by million dollars are intelligent shelf and age computing, autonomous vending, self-checkout and intelligent shelf has the highest growth worth keep a lookout for. While in the vertical industries, entertainment, retail, healthcare and restaurant are the top growing vertical for more than 30% CAGR. So with this, I would like to emphasize uh, three technologies that we would like to focus on, namely the AK technology, compute module options as differentiators are on the rise in the market and product expansion. And last but not least, the LED video wall market that is showing hockey stick trend effective this year. Let's dig deeper into the technologies I mentioned earlier. They are the 8K technology that is high in demand for curating shoppers experience, GenLock and PipeLock feature integrated into Intel's 12th generation processors to ensure the quality of display experience, AI capabilities that creates um, a leading position, last but not least, the 5G network capabilities to ensure uh, seamless connectivity. Let's go into each and every one of them. AK technology is on the rise where only team players can win. It takes close collaboration among the ecosystem partners to connect with each other to complete an end-to-end -end architecture win. We are pleased to inform you that Intel's technology is already in place as shown here as the base architecture helming the ecosystems together. Intel has spent significant amount of investment both time and in monitoring on this and working very closely with each piece of the formation. The recent example is Tokyo Olympics, where we managed to stream 8K content live globally together with the broadcasting companies. Speaking to us later, uh, try to speak to us later for further collaboration interests. We launched the 12th generation processor recently in CES. Let's have a look at this video to explain to you how it works in order to deliver GenLock and PipeLock features that is integrated into this processor. I'm sure that you realize business value out of it after the video. Let's watch. Both GenLock and PipeLock employ video signal synchronization. GenLock synchronizes independent video signals from multiple processors on separate systems to produce a large image across all displays, as you see here. PipeLock synchronizes independent video signals from a single processor to produce a large image across all displays, as you see here. For the video wall to the left, you can see these video signals are not synchronized and the image in the display does not join to make a continuous image. For the video wall on the right, you can see these video signals are synchronized to combine and make a continuous image. Combined display is a feature where a single desktop is extended across multiple displays. There are several standard configurations for video walls, as you can see. 1x4, 4x1, 2x2, or custom shapes. The combined display feature is fundamental to the video wall applications. Bezel compensation refers to adjusting the image size so the image is continuous behind the display bezel. For the video wall to the left, you can see the video content is not continuous from one panel to the other. After adjusting for bezel thickness, you can see the diagonal lines on the video wall to the right appear continuous. Extended display identification data. This feature ensures the rest of the video wall displays 
are not disturbed when one panel fails. For the video wall to the left, you can see when the upper left display fails and goes black, the other displays are affected. For the video wall to the right, you can see when the upper left display fails, the rest of the displays are not affected. What are the ways to get ready for the returning shopper's experience that counts in ensuring recurring visits with unparalleled created store experience is to have programmatic displays in place? One of the solutions to consider is AI on signage. We are currently partnering with Microsoft, Scale AI and other partners to scale readily available solutions to support your time to market. Intel's 5G end-to-end -end solutions provides a robustly secured network designed for IoT applications. Example, beginning with devices at the edge that is connected to the network H regional cloud or core network and data center that includes uh, on-prem edge server is driving and providing low latency, stable and secure bandwidth connectivity. 5G provides high speed mobility and global wide area network coverage with high indoor or outdoor network availability with high reliability and TSN support, built-in carrier grid network, transport and device level security that is customizable, network QoS and private networks that is proven with use cases in smart city, retail and healthcare. Please let us know if you're interested to discuss further on various use cases in these verticals. We will be more than happy to assist you with our subject matter expert. Lastly, I would like to leave you with a real use cases, use case rather, deployed in Ireland with a very well curated customer experience in a store which we call it store as a medium. It's not just advertisement, but ensuring customer has a programmatic experience that ensures return of customer's visit. This is very important. If you remember the first point we talked about in the beginning, as the world welcomes back shoppers to the store. Let's have a look.
In closing, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to share here. Just remember the ABC I have for you. First, for the A, ask anything about what was mentioned here by clicking, clicking on the chat link that I've prepared for you. B, be as successful as you can be with what we have to offer you by building a proof of concept or even a pilot use case with us. And third one is C. Remember to make sure that you capture the new markets as much as possible with the scalable architecture we shared with you. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, David, for your insight and showing us how digital signage can capture people's attention through visualization and interaction. With the crowds returning and retailers unable to cope with the sudden surge due to lack of manpower, it is my pleasure to have Mr. Patrick Kwan to tell us more on how we can use self-service products to improve productivity and efficiency, such as hotels and airports with express check-ins and checkouts and faster order and payments for retails, FMBs, as well as supermarket. Greetings everyone, this is Patrick Kwan, Product Management Lead of UTC 100 Series. A pleasure to meet with you all here, virtually. We're seeing trends of adopting self-service terminal across multiple industries. What are its value? What are the challenges? How can Advantech's UTC 100 Series and UTK7 Kiosk Series help to accelerate your self-service terminal deployment while keeping your options flexible even after they're deployed. Let's check it out. As technology evolves, human behavior changes. In the early 2000s, self-service was a myth. Customer wanted to be helped instead of doing it themselves. It's a different story nowadays, well. Dig deep into your memories from two years ago. Imagine yourself being at an airport. What a lovely memory, wasn't it? I know. I miss that traveling too. So even at two years ago, did you use a self-service option like the airport kiosk to check your bags, choose your seat, and print out your boarding pass? Or did you instead wait in line at the airport to speak with a human being? While it probably depends on your mood of that day, if you're like most other people, you probably use the self-service option. Here I quote and unquote, Harvard Business Review data show an overwhelming preference for self-service across industry Fully 81% of all customers attempt to take care of matters themselves before reaching out to a live representative. Why are we seeing a surge of self-service terminal nowadays? What value does it bring to customers, users, and companies? Well, from users' point of view, using self-service terminal saves them time, such as the airport self-check-in terminal mentioned earlier. They also get precise and carefully curated information such as when they check size or color availability find best matching items, pick their own seat in an office, locate the best restaurant near your hotel, customize their hamburger, just to name a few. And as much as we hate it, keep healthy distance from others. For companies that provide self-service terminal, it helps them address their business pain points, such as reducing lineup for people that actually needs personal services, improve accuracy and efficiency when taking orders, secure retail sales that could have been lost. Most importantly, it brings long-term cost saving and therefore improved profits. So what kind of self-service works and what not? Fortunately, after years of trials from our observation of various market and experts, we're starting to see some best practices across various industries. Business class hotel self-check-in had been proven to increase customer satisfaction. Endless aisle could act as floor sales and pays for itself. Self-order bus lineup, increased order accuracy, put less people at valuable restaurant dining area so that more resources can be spent in the kitchen serving improved menu items. There are more market applications getting proven in retail, restaurants, hotel, transportation, office, and facilities. And those applications bring value to users or companies by either saving them time and cost 
and or elevate their experience in operation efficiency. In the meantime, putting together a self-service terminal that had always been challenging and time-consuming. Even when you know the type of self-service strategy that would bring value to your customers or company, developing and implementing the actual solution is just as important. You need to test different computer hardwares, pick the right peripherals that are compatible with the hardwares, integrate the pieces together to make it look aesthetically pleasing, choosing software that help you run them, find IT infrastructure that manage all of them, and the list goes on. It's a series of daunting but necessary tasks to go through for a successful self-service deployment, similar to the process of putting a 3,000 pieces puzzle together, if not more, before seeing the final perfect picture displayed in front of you. So this is where we come in. Our UTC 100 series on one computer can be simple interactive information signage on its own. When you combine the various peripherals that are designed for UTC 100, such as barcode scanner or light bar, it becomes an interactive terminal such as product information line buster, self-ordering. Then when you put all these together on our UTC stands or UTK7 kiosk, with its support for additional popular printers and EMB credit card readers, it becomes a self-check-in or self-check-out terminal. All can be done rapidly with scalability. The nature of UTC 100 series modularized LEGO nature could accelerate your self-service deployment project and smooth out the wrinkles during the implementation. On top of that, we have application SDK that allow you to implement the peripheral smoothly into your software solution. And we also have device on iService remote management software that helps you manage your fleet of terminals efficiently. Let's take a look at the various types of self-service terminal one could put together with UTC 100 series and UTK 7000 kiosk series. You could assemble a self-service check-in terminal with our UTC 100 plus thermal camera plus UTK 7 kiosk stand with a passport scanner. Or you could deploy an express self-order terminal in hotel with UTC 100 plus RFID reader plus barcode scanner. Or you could put together a smart queuing and signage terminal with UTC 100 plus LED light bar and UTK 7 floor kiosk stand. The list goes on. And the most important benefit that I'd like to highlight here is you can effortlessly adjust your strategy or solution even after they're deployed to the field. Just swap in the peripheral stand you need and swap out the ones you don't. It's a flexibility you need in today's ever-changing world that constitute wide range of user behavior, company goals, and government policies. We could help you reach your business goals within a shorter time frame. Let's take a closer look into the first piece of the puzzle, UTC 100 all-in-one touch computer. UTC 100 series currently consists of two sizes, the 15.6 inch and 21.5 inch, with a 23.8 inch coming very soon to the lineup, namely the UTC 115, 120 and 124 respectively. And they currently have two platforms, Apollo Lake Pentium N4200 CPU and the Whiskey Lake 8th Gen i5 i3 CPU. Also coming very soon to the lineup is Tiger Lake 11th Gen i5 i3 CPU with USB-C ports. Here's an overview of UTC 100 series standout features. It supports more than eight popular peripherals, which includes barcode scanner and HD camera support multiple CPUs and OS platforms, useful I.O. with flexible placement from two sides, optional secondary storage, power over Ethernet, and IP65 front water and dust protected display. And now let's take a look into some highlighted features. First and foremost, UTC 100 series is very slim. For example, our 15.6 inch touch computer UTC 115 is less than 30 millimeter thick and makes it 32% slimmer than our closest competitor. On top of being slim, it inherited UTC product line's DNA as being fanless, which greatly improved its system stability and longevity. By design, UTC 100 series is equally suited to be used in both landscape and portrait mode. The borders around the screens are slim with equal width, making it suitable for any type of user scenario, be it the mobile phone alike, or tablet alike. The back is also designed specifically for both landscape and portrait mode. 
The IOs are placed at both sides so that cables can be managed cleanly in all directions. When you put the side IOs cover back on, your cable are well hidden be beneath it. Not only does it look aesthetically clean, it also provides some added benefits. First of all, the entire back sides are smooth and curvy with only four screws for the VESA mounts. And since there are three I.O. covers, it hides the cables away which would give the entire setup a clean look. On top of that, as the cables and I.O.s are out of sight, it helps to prevent potential vandalism like pulling cables and intentional press of power buttons, USB drive access, etc. Secondly, since there are three I.O. covers, we also took serviceability into consideration. There are no screws. If you know the secret combinations, you could remove the I.O. covers with ease, and that makes it much less time consuming while doing services such as manual software update, plug or unplug cables, etc. And also hidden underneath the back cover is a reserved space for secondary storage. You can use it to replace a built-in SSD as system main storage or use it as additional data storage. On all UTC100 models, they come with support of wide DC inputs from 12 to 4, 24 volts. That makes it much easier to leverage project sites, existing power setup. Reduce your cost of replacing the power grids and speed up your self-service terminal deployments. On top of that, available on UTC115G only, it also optionally supports power over Ethernet, which greatly reduces complications of on-site power management. Now let's take a look into the second piece of the puzzle, the different peripheral designs specifically for UTC100 series. Currently, there are eight accessories specifically designed for UTC100, the HD camera, LED light bar, barcode scanner, thermal camera, RFID reader, smart card reader, fingerprint reader, and MSR. And what's best about these peripherals is that you can mount them on any four sides of the UTC with these. And that's why you could turn UTC100 series into any self-service terminal you want, in any orientation, be it in landscape mode or portrait mode. When we design the peripherals, we also pay special attention to their ID so that they blend in well with the overall slim and modern design of UTC100, along with this curvy back. There's another peripheral that's coming very soon and I'd like to bring it to your attention first here. It's the IO extension box. We added extra power USB ports and other IOs on this box so it could greatly extend the capability and scalability of UTC100 series. With this extension box, not only can UTC connect to more peripherals, it can also provide those power-hungry peripheral powers, such as printers, EMV credit card reader, heavy-duty barcode scanner. In short, you'd only need one power cable for your entire self-checkout greatly reduce your efforts in planning the power layout at the project sites. We'll have a light version extension box with six ports and a deluxe version that comes with eight ports extension, making them suitable for your various types of self-service terminal needed. The extension box is also flexible when it comes to mounting options. You can mount it at the back of your UTC under the stand, inside the UTK7 kiosk, or place them separately under the table or cabinets. And now let's take a look at the third piece of the puzzle, UTK7000 series kiosk and various stands for UTC100 series. The UTK7000 series kiosk can take any UTC100 series or UTC500 series and turn them into a fully working desk standing kiosk or floor standing kiosk with space reserved for a receipt printer. At the same time, we also have various other stands that support UTC100 series, such as dual hinge stands that offer the most flexible screen angle, a valo stand that adds support to a second screen, clean stand, elegant stand, and L stands offer a streamlined and stylish way of displaying the UTC, and desk stand, a cost-efficient stand that looks like an iPad stand. There are more UTC stands in the development pipeline that could turn UTC100 series into different functional self-service terminal. Here are some concept pictures that illustrate the potentials and possibilities UTC could become. The real picture at the bottom right shows an intelligent stand with a built-in camera powered by an AI, and this stand can identify the different cakes and bread under the UTC and helps to reduce the customer lineup 
by, by speeding up the transaction while reducing potential human error at the same time. Let's also take a look at the UTK7 series kiosk stand. As mentioned before, combine it with one of UTC100 models with reserved space for receipt printer and wide varieties of UTC peripherals, it becomes a very functional kiosk that can be deployed in various domains, such as self-registration kiosk in trade shows, self-check-in kiosk for hotel and office, and this aisle kiosk in retail shop, self-order kiosk in QSR. Just to name a few examples. The key differentiation of UTK7 series compared with other traditional kiosks lies in its modularity and scalability. It's really as simple as the three steps depicted here. Step one, pick your patties, beef or chicken. Step two, choose a type of bread, plain or sesame. Step three, top up with whatever additional self-indulging toppings or a special sauce you love. I personally love adding scrambled bacon and sunny side up egg with extra cheese and a touch of Tabasco. Then halfway through my burger, I love to add some pickles in there to change things up a little bit. So yes, you can deploy your self-service kiosk almost as fast and simple as ordering a customized burger. And you can still change its setup with ease even after they're deployed to the field. Currently, UTK7 series supports Epson TM T88V printer by default, with optional Cradle that supports Ingenical IPP350 EMV. If you have any other preferred printer and EMV, we can easily customize the bracket you need to put them on UTK7. For self-service kiosk application, there are some challenges from development, deployment, and maintenance. Advantech self-service kiosk software provides comprehensive and streamlined features across device lifecycle. At development stage, Advantech self-service kiosk is equipped with comprehensive industrial SDK to accelerate retail edge AIoT application development. At deployment stage, Advantech kiosk tool facilitates the kiosk setting and lockdown security customization with ease. In addition, Advantech Device on iService management software reduces user system deployment time and increases operation efficiency with monitoring onboarding, batch control, and OTA updates feature. Combining Device on iService and Kiosk Industrial SDK together, it increases the success of your retail edge AI projects. Advantech's Device on iService is a next generation unified device management software based on the WISE device on platform. Designed to enable centralized monitoring and remote management, Device on Eye service supports Avantech device equipped with Windows, Linux, or Android operating systems. The software also supports the management of applications and integrated peripherals, such as a barcode scanner, card reader, camera, and printer. User can remotely access and control connected devices, take screenshots, roll out OTA updates, and use remote desktop capabilities for troubleshooting from any location at any time. Moreover, Device on iService supports batch operation to facilitate the management of multiple devices simultaneously for easy and convenient device configuration and deployment. With retail industry deployment AOT technology in many areas, such as self-checkout, digital marketing, loss prevention, etc., Eventech Kiosk Industrial SDK enables and accelerates your AIoT application development with plug-and-play retail I.O. connection, pre-integrated cloud platform, and edge AI functions. Eventech Kiosk Industrial SDK also enables the capability for remote monitoring, alarm alerts, or existing RMA system integration. It assists SI developer to develop retail application with no code or low code configuration. Besides, Avantech Kiosk Industrial SDK includes a standalone and easy device tool, which reduces device troubleshooting downtime with one-click device checking and alarm analysis. Here are the actual self-service terminal exemplary cases with UTC100 and UTK7. For confidentiality, I messed out the logos, but as you can see, UTC100 have been deployed in various markets, including home furniture store, retail clothing shops, supermarket, unmanned stand, QSR, restaurants, movie theaters, hospital lobbies, and more. 
Their application had been mostly mentioned during my earlier sharing. In short, the main common reason why UTC-100 and UTK-7 were chosen are mostly due to its slim design that blend in with the interior environment well, system stability and longevity, ease of modularized customization and accelerated time to market project deployment are also the top reasons we surveyed from our customers. These are standard off-the-shelf, fully configured products which you could pick up from Avantech or even faster from one of the Avantech major distributors slash focus channel partners near you. Well, that about wraps up my sharing today. If you have any question, please feel free to contact one of our sales teams, PSN teams, or to me directly. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thank you, Patrick, for going in depth and sharing with us on how the self-service applications. Next up, we have one of our partners, Mr. Handy Lee from Sandbox, who will share on how our compact and mini self-service kiosk, the UTK615 model, is being deployed in the Indonesian market. During the presentations, there will be a hands-on demo using a browser interface to mimic how the application functions in real-life scenario. Some sections will not be in English, so if you need further clarifications, you may check with Handy or ask us during the Q&A session at the end of the webinar. Nice to meet you all. I'm Handy, Director from Sandbox Indonesia. Uh, we're an integrator company with expertise in IoT and custom engineering. Please to make your acquaintance. So in topic of kiosk, we have a digital ordering product, which is also omnichannel, that includes self-service kiosk and other platform as well. Here we will talk about how digital ordering can help businesses provide end-to-end -end experience for modern customers. To start, what is digital ordering that we provide here? As you can see here, we provide the software for self-service kiosk using the device that Advantech will provide. Next, we also have other platforms here. So this is a working and running digital kiosk and other platform for ordering in major OS and also on website. It's all interconnected as an omnichannel solution. By going digital, you get more brand awareness by being a business with digital experience and services that can be accessed both online and on-site. We can help you build your unique experience together with Intel and Advantech. Speaking about the business benefit, we need to ask why retail and F&B businesses need to go digital. First, the operational and investment cost is lower compared to conventional method. Conventionally, you will have to buy a POS software and then assign a cashier or attendant to help customers with their questions and transaction. Selling, upselling, promotion, discount, and loyalty point will be direct to the customer, while the customer purchase process is going undisturbed and smoothly. Our order doesn't need an employee to ask whether they would like to upsize or have additional purchase, upselling is automatic and visual using the menu. So this is a very non-intrusive process. Report and data will be collected automatically, and customer payment QU can be split between traditional payment and the digital ordering. Since the transaction is done without help from cashier or attendee, you reduce the risk of losing physical money and having to spend the time to deposit it. For businesses with limited spaces, especially in big cities, this solution can also help you to maximize your point of sales. I will explain more about this in use case. Next is the main highlight. The solution is provided as a white label, and also it is centralized so all digital ordering can be processed within our system. Or we can also integrate with your existing system to complement. For example, if you already have a web or mobile, we can integrate with your existing and add additional platform, for example, the self-service kiosk. As the solution is built as a marketplace, we built it to support multiple things. For example, multiple brand, seller, branch in an omnichannel setup. So all is centralized. For the front end, different front end can have different content. If you are a multi-brand company, each store can have its own front end. We provide the software as SaaS, meaning it is cost effective and you get updates on features and is of use. 
customization is optional we have various cases and requests from our customer and prospects so this can be very interesting and very personalized to your business so for usage scenario it can be split into two by direct customers in their leisure and also for on-site guests as long as you sell products whether it is food and beverage physical or digital product the possibilities for applying digital ordering is very extensive. Most people would be familiar with web and mobile. A website can be accessed directly from the URL, while mobile applications need to be downloaded first, and they can purchase your products from anywhere. This is similar to Amazon or AliExpress. For visitor and commuter, we can use web mobile and self-service kiosks. The first is access through customer's mobile phone by scanning QR. There is no need to download any application to use the software. While for kiosk, customer can quickly and easily use Avantech devices. You can use kiosk to encourage purchase in waiting areas. When you wait, there's a high chance that you'd like to be entertained. That's the best time for business to sell. For example, waiting can be on a QU, on the restroom, maybe waiting for a lift or something. While QR code is not as visible as a kiosk, you can place it in many places, like on a restaurant table, hotel room. For retail, we can also place it in every product. This solution can be an express line for people to purchase something from your business. Next is how we maximize place to sell more product. In this example, it is in hospitality setting. The concept is that we want to add more point of sales in potential area. For example, kiosk can be placed in the lobby, swimming pool, in the gym. This is areas where people can wait. While well, for QR, we can place it in every guest room. Additionally, for item delivery, we can send it to all the guest room and also to additional pickup points, like pictured in point A and B. This concept of adding more point of sales can be used in other settings as well, mostly like the tourism and public spaces where we can sell F&B and products. Like this example is for a water park. So we can use it in the amusement, in golf, and other places like mall and transportation terminal. And that's it for the use cases. If you have any questions, leave the comment. Uh, next, I'd like to demonstrate our product, uh, starting with self-service kiosk. Next, I would like to demonstrate the back end. 
This is the dashboard page. We can quickly see how we are doing over here. And there is a historical chart as well. For report, we currently have order report, but we will add more in the future. I will give a quick tour. Here's the information area for banner FAQ and others. You can also set up a blacklist setting for customer, product categorization, product list, order fulfillment, text and service setup, and user and access management. In the user management, we can set up role, so we can set up a different role for different user. For example, if you want to give access to fulfillment team, financing, warehouse team, they can all have different feature access. You can set up different user for different branch as well. I'd like to show a bit on category and promotion. As this is a marketplace system, uh, we have three level of category to help customer find their product. GutDiv is an F&B, so in this case, we only need to focus on the level three of the category. While this is an example for a retail setting, for example, in jewelry, we can have menu like platinum and gold, and then we have gold ring, gold pendant, necklace. Next, I'd like to show you the promotion. Here we have a loyalty point system. It is similar to the one used in Imani, where you can set up points for transactions. Next, we have cashback. And then the referral is for affiliate and reseller. We also have an extensive voucher feature. This one. We can set a lot of things here. For example, if you have a new store and want to set up a discount for this new store, you can do so as well here using the voucher. You can set up promotion on category and product level. Next is order. This is very simple. As you can see, uh, over here is the process uh, from you to close order. If you want to proceed this order to the next step, you only need to push the blue action button. Next, I would like to show you the website and mobile. This is Wishlist, one of our client. You can access this online. Similar to other marketplaces, we can find products either through the top menu or by search and filtering. This customized website has features that is very specific to jewelry sellers, both in the front end and the back end. Here is the mobile. You can download this and test the application. For shipping and payment gateway, in Indonesian market, we already connected to the local providers. And for other countries, we will connect with your country's provider. So that's not an issue. Last, I would like to show the web mobile demonstration. As the software will be accessed through a QR code, I would like to invite everyone here to join in the experience and scan the QR code. This demonstration is a prototype so that you can test all the features. The actual software will be limited by geolocation fencing so that off-site customers can use the software. We do this to prevent issues of off-site use so the customer need to be there to make a purchase. By the way, did you notice? The software is similar to the one in the cell service kiosk. You can use this prototype to get a feel on how our kiosk will work in your business setting. To close this presentation is our introduction. We are a professional group of companies starting in 2006. For maintenance, we will do preventative measures. For example, we will do maintenance with RCA for non-anomaly problem that affected more than 20% of users, quality assurance, assessment, and security protocol, and we also provide on-call reactive support. 
for portfolio on digital ordering and engineering. The first customer for our marketplace engine is actually a conglomerate group from Myanmar. Next is Wishlist. For our engineering portfolio, we have project with Deloitte, Unilever, and then Carry Group from Ireland. This one is an AI project. We have this in our YouTube video. And then for FMB, we have Boga Group. And here's more project. That's all from us. Thank you for joining us today. I hope we can help you with digital ordering solution and more. Thank you.